Hey guys! Hi! So we just finished our Bordeaux trip, which was really just a day, literally a day in Bordeaux. Um, so not a ton, but we do have a couple things to recommend. Um, what are they? Uh, mostly we ate and walked around and as per usual. Yeah. Um, weirdly though, it was like kind of smelly. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know what was going just, on. It's like I was walking in a sewer is what it felt like. Yeah. Um, like just around the main area, like I don't know if it was the rain or they were doing some like work on the sewage system. Yeah, and I, don't, I don't know if Bordeaux was overly hyped because a lot of like my friends and a lot of people were really excited for us to go to like the south of France mm -hmm. and and because they loved it and that we'll enjoy it and this and that. But it was actually my least favorite. <laughs> yeah, um, Bordeaux was. Um, apparently a college town, I never knew that when I thought about Bordeaux, of course you don't really think about the college, but um, anyways, uh, it's also known for its food, so that's what we did. We did uh, the first time we actually bothered with reservations, thinking that it would be like super necessary, but it didn't turn out to be, mm -hmm. um, because we eat at a different time than everyone else in France, which is like much later. <laughs> Um, so the two places that we did check out was um, La Brasserie Bordelaise, which is like super famous. Um, that was actually a little bit of a disappointment compared to its um, hype. Yeah, uh, for me a, a little bit is kind of being nice. <laughs> but uh, the other place was... Uh, Le Chien Pablo, um, yeah. which is not as known, but um, ended up being quite a nice surprise. Yeah. Uh, so the first one, um, La Brasserie, we did, I did, again, um, the menu of the day, um, which is three courses for about 22 euros, um, and also he did and a... I did, I got a steak entree, basically a, a ribeye. Um, I didn't really do my research before going here, so I didn't know what to order, and... Um, but from the looks of it, it's like they deal with like their own ranch, like supplier, or it is a ranch, and the, you know it's their you know ranch restaurant or whatever it is. Uh, but you know, as you sit down, they give you bread, um, you know the usual bread, butter, and this time they gave us some pate, mm -hmm. and um, it was actually really good. That part was probably the best part for me. The um, pate, pate and the quality of your steak. Oh yeah. Yeah. Other than that. Um, the food was a little bit unremarkable for given its uh, infamy, I guess, and yeah. given that it was Bordeaux. Yeah. How was it like what you said, TripAdvisor, like everything, just, yeah, every, everybody was just like going crazy over this mm -hmm. place. And it, honestly, it kind of reminded me like uh, in a restaurant that was like soup, like just trying too hard. Um, the quality of their meat, though, I must say, is like really good. Um, yeah, the ribeye steak, I ordered uh, medium rare. Um, they ended up giving me rare anyway, which is fine, I'll still eat it. Like, but um, no, like it was super juicy and um, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. It was, it was, it was really good, but um, everything else. It was meh. Yeah. yeah um, for the menu of the day, there was um, sort of like a chilled stewed beef salad to start. Um, which was okay. It was just like a bed of spinach and some stewed beef on top. Yeah. And then there was like but a it was fried like, fish. It wasn't even like just stewed beef. It was like lukewarm, like beef just plopped on a bed of greens. Mm -hmm. uh, like the salad itself would have been fine without the meat. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then her second course was a fish. Um, a, I believe it was a Dover. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're not really good with our fish yet, but we'll get there. Um, so it was a fish and it was okay, just a hint overcooked, um, but otherwise okay. It came with a side of ratatouille, which was my first time eating ratatouille, and it was okay. <laughs> Um, some of the vegetables were a little thick, so it just like didn't make for good texture, like the eggplant, you know, I'm a big fan of braised eggplant, but not just like roasted, yeah, She's just wet. a fan of her dad's braised okay. eggplant, yeah. but like yeah. no other eggplant <laughs> really is good enough for her. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, so... Yeah. But guess, my main, was that? Go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say that was kind of it for them. Yeah, and my main course, the ribeye steak came with like fries and 
a salad. A salad. And the fries, honestly, it was like the bottom of the bag, like bits and pieces. Um, and but it came in a large pot. In a large pot, which was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. For someone who likes fries, this, this was the worst fries I've ever had. And I don't really discriminate among the fries. He doesn't. Oh, actually, and then the dessert we had with that was the ginger on ginger on ginger. Yeah. It was basically a cupcake, a ginger cupcake with ginger whipped cream and a ginger sauce. And ginger caramel sauce. Well, the cake on its own was like the perfect like yeah. hint of ginger, right? You got a little bit of it and still taste. The cake was moist. It was good. And then I with the everything. sauce, it's like, yo, it's, it's like, face. yeah, it's oh like you <laughs> bit off a piece of ginger and just chewed it. Yeah. Anyways, so it might I mean, be good if you're sick. <laughs> Go there. Yeah. So we don't really recommend spending your money there at La Brasserie. Um, but on the other hand, Le Chien was actually pretty great. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the tasting menu of the day. Um, and just so you know, like if the, you want to order the tasting menu, everyone at the table has to order that menu as well. Um, we were trying to like order the foie gras separately um, because, you know. Uh, I love foie and, um, uh, but and we couldn't like literally. They, you're like, you can't order anything can't. unless the taste or just the tasting menu. You can't yeah. order anything a la carte after that. But she promised us, she was like, oh, just so it's a secret so you know there is going to be is. foie on the tasting menu. Um, but there wasn't. <laughs> um, but it was okay because she came back and she felt really bad and gave us foie any rate, mm -hmm. anyway. And it was actually really good. It you know, definitely prepared differently from Chez Germain in Paris. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it wasn't as sweet as Chez Germain, but this time it was... It was... There were other flavors. Mm -hmm. um, there was... Uh, what did they, it was like a smoked tea jelly. Mm -hmm. um, there was like a mint leaf and like a little bit of pear and fish on top. Like, yeah, it's everything's like plated very beautifully. Um, like interesting mixes of flavors mm -hmm. and textures. They do a lot of uh, what was that? Like a crun extra crunchy bread. Yeah, which I think it's like yeah. old baguettes, <laughs> and then they, they just crumble it but and then fry. But it's still good. <laughs> but it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Um, so. There was like five dishes yeah. with the foie, which I don't think was supposed to be on the menu, right. menu that day. Um, I honestly don't remember the names of any of the dishes because they were speaking too fast and it's not really on the menu. Mm -hmm. um, wasn't like uh, what La Rochelle where you know you would see the, the, whole, menu. the whole menu um, of the day. And uh, this one, it's like, yeah, it's, it's like one of those uh, toy boxes where you don't know what you're gonna get. And then you realize, you got that the same toy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll show the pictures. Um, I think the first uh, dish was a fish and potato. Yeah, like um, a ceviche kind of, mm -hmm. or like a pickled, I don't know, it was like a pickled potato, a ceviche kind of thing, um, which was a pretty good starter. Mm -hmm. um, the next one was the soup, which was really good. Basically mm. like a cream, like a chat, like yeah, some like sort of mushroom, chowder. cream of mushroom soup with yeah. an, was there an egg in there? Mm -hmm. There was. There yeah, was with like, the perfect egg. They call it the perfect egg. It's like something about 68 degrees for 68 minutes or something like yeah. that. Um, uh, yeah. But yeah. it was like a really interesting texture where like the egg white is like almost still translucent. So you're like, is this really cooked? Um, but it was really tasty. Mm -hmm. um, and then then we had the foie. Mm -hmm. And then there was... Um, a duck. Duck, yes, with mushrooms and meat juice. They call like, everything juice. Meat juice. <laughs> Mint like, juice. Yeah. Yeah, it would be like, with this juice. With this, this juice. meat juice. <laughs> Which you're like, oh, okay, cool. But it's tasty, mm -hmm. like, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, that one is a super savory dish. Um, Definitely one of the um, better meat dishes we've had. Mm -hmm. And then it was followed by, a, what did I want to say? A splatter of... <laughs> oh, the dessert, yeah. It was like a roasted fig dish yeah. um, with uh, blackberries, um, like a berry sauce. Mm -hmm. It also came with ginger ice cream, so we had a lot of ginger that day. Um, but uh, a lot of stuff going on. I think the best thing on that plate was actually their chocolate um, almond mousse that they make in-house. Yeah, which you only get like a little dollop of. There were like 
four dollops. Very small four dollops. It was the best thing on the plate, so I could have used more. But um, a lot of things going on that plate, probably too much. They had crunchy bits, the roasted figs, the berry sauce, the ginger, sharp ginger ice cream. Um, she didn't others. want to, but um, I just put the whole thing in my mouth and yeah. it was like oh. a, it was like a gusher. I'm civilized. You I play with my food France. a lot, but that's Anyways. me. So um, again, similar to like Cher, uh, Chez Germain, it's a long, you know, a long evening plan for that. Order a glass of wine, um, take your time eating. Um, this guy here eats really fast, so I think he was kind of making the kitchen panic because they were just like turning out dishes from <laughs> Um, but yeah, and we like finished before everyone else that was already there. Yeah. Um, but definitely recommend um, if you're looking for a nice splurge meal in Bordeaux. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other things we recommend in Bordeaux is just to walk around. There's, you know, a number of bridges. We couldn't make, you know, it all the way down. Um, we do jiu-jitsu and... Uh, there's a our team checkmat is actually in Bordeaux and it's kind of sad we didn't really get to visit either um, but yeah, hopefully all the way up north. yeah seven and, kilometers we couldn't walk that so. <laughs> and hopefully like someday we will come back and and train here um, it is kind of a dream of mine to like go to different gyms checkmat gyms around the world um, even though I'm going around the world right now um, in round two maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway that's all we have for our Bordeaux favorites mm -hmm. um, so yeah don't forget to subscribe and follow like. and like notifications all these things and we'll see you on the next video which should be Porto, Porto. soon bye Thanks,